Hello guys, welcome to this new video. So now we're going to work through this question 5 in the May 25 specimen paper 2. So we are given these two conducting rings A and B. Their centers are on the same line. And the planes of A and B are parallel. There's a constant clockwise current in A, so it goes like this. And uh, ring A is stationary and ring B moves towards ring A at constant speed. And we firstly need to outline why the magnetic flux in ring B increases. <clears throat> well, since we have a current flowing in this ring A, a moving current induce, creates a magnetic field around it. And we know that the closer we are to this magnetic field, the stronger it becomes. So what we can say is that the magnetic field of A increases inside B as it gets closer, as the field lines will be more dense, as the field lines are denser. So simply we'll have more field lines going through uh, ring B. So it would probably look something like this. And then obviously like around it could like spiral out. But the closer we get, the more lines we'll have going through the area of B. And then we need to state the direction of the induced current in the ring. Well, one could just immediately say counterclockwise. If we remember Lenz's law, then we know that these two have to be opposite and current A is clockwise. But you could also deduce this as if you use your right hand rule. You see that in ring A, the current is moving clockwise. So the, your fingers would curl towards you. And so your thumb is pointing to the right. So we have a field this way. And as B is moving in towards A, its uh, magnetic field is increasing this way. So, according to Lenz's law, the current in ring B wants to oppose this change. So what it will do is create a uh, magnetic field pointing this way. And well, if you see which way the current must flow for a, such a magnetic field to be induced, you see that it will be counterclockwise. So this is just simply Lenz's law. So the field is increasing towards the right, so the ring wants to decrease the field towards the left to return to its original state. And then we're given this uh, graph of magnetic flux versus time in ring B. And we need to discuss the variation with time of the induced current in ring B. So what we can see is that the gradient of our graph is increasing. So our gradient increases, that means that the rate of change of flux also increases. As the slope is simply the like magnetic flux on the y-axis divided by the x-axis, so that's like flux over time. So that's the rate of change of flux. And according to Faraday's law, according to Faraday's law, the induced EMF will also increase. As we know that the induced EMF is proportional to the rate of change of flux. So if our rate of change of flux is increasing, then our induced EMF must also increase. And the resistance of our um, wire is constant, or in the ring, resistance of the ring is constant. So if we have a larger EMF being induced, that must mean we have a larger current. So current increases as well. As we know, the formula V is equal to IR. R is just a constant. If V increases, I also increases. 
and then we need to outline why work must be done on ring B as it moves towards ring A at a constant speed. Well, this again is due to Lenz's law, as ring B creates a field opposite to ring A. So, induced current in B makes a field opposite to A. And well, these two will repel each other. So we can just imagine, for example, that these two rings are like bar magnets. And for example, this is the north side of the ring A and this is the south, south side, south pole of ring A. Then ring B will create the opposite of this. So it will make something like this. So this will be the north pole. And this will be the south pole as these arrows just point in the direction that the north pole is in as these forces are somewhat inside the magnet we could say and these two north poles will repel each other so we need to over we need a uh, we need to we need work to overcome this repulsive force repulsive force and well that was the end of this uh, question i hope i was able to help and see you in the next video